Literally, the more I strive for health, the sicker I got. My health crisis has been so similar to so many ex-vegan stories in the last years and I was forced to question a plant-based diet at times. But I managed to fully recover from all my symptoms and diseases on a vegan diet. I gave myself a last serious attempt and chance after many before putting what I've learned to the test because it blew my mind guys. I was able to get to the very root cause of all of my problems. I'm so glad I've been symptom free for six months now. I had severe symptoms on all levels and systems of my body for three years before that. Disease free after three years of desperation and eating perfectly. Hey there! What's up? Miri here. In this video and video series, I'm opening up about the health issues I fought over the past years and how I've recovered and managed to still be vegan. And not only that, but thrive as a vegan. <laughs> It took a long time <laughs> while fixing my gut immune and hormone health so if you or a friend you know are struggling on a plant-based diet you definitely want to consider subscribing i wouldn't be angry about a like either if you want <laughs> so after five and a half years i'm thriving finally I think the reason why ex-vegan videos are so viral and popular and in great demand these days must be that many vegans are desperate right now, struggling with health issues and being sicker. Thank you, Church Bell, for stopping. Sicker than before, like I was. Vegans' health often deteriorates after two years. It often is that way. When their energy drops, they choose to ignore it. When their hair falls out, they choose to ignore it. They ignore it when they fast for weeks or even months and reintroduce food or when they're eating so healthy all the time that they're eating not enough. And there are many things like antibiotics, contraceptives, other medications, stress, pesticides, low stomach acid, pancreatic in enzyme deficiencies. When your digestion starts to suffer, the compounds and fiber found in plants create issues. How did we get here? Where did it start? I personally found the answer to my personal cascade of health problems. So I've been there, <laughs> I've done that, thinking that I had to stop being vegan to save myself first from dying away before I can save others. And yes, I really was an ethical vegan, but I was wasting away, like literally, like over years. And it it went, like it got so bad, I just couldn't help but questioning veganism, even though I was 100% an ethical vegan. I titled this a response video because it increases the chance that it might be seen and be of help to people who suffer or who suffered. Also, maybe by ex-vegans. But by no means whatsoever do I say or think that any of my causes and cures are the causes and cures for others who suffer. And in no way am I trying to tell or convince anybody what to do. If anything, my whole experience extremely humbled me towards the needs of others. Since I've applied what I've learned about the human body and metabolism, my health did a 180 degree and I went from physical crisis into symptom and ailment free health. Literally within a week. One week. Crazy. If you struggle with your physical and mental health despite doing everything perfectly, this video and channel is for you. So stick around also for my future videos because I have plenty of further information and experiences on calorie deficit and food fears and how they affect gut health, disease, immune system and eating disorders beyond what you actually hear and read. It might change your world. <laughs> it did change my entire view around food, health and exercise and how easy it is to become anorexic even without 
knowing or noticing. I thought it's best to show you a personal health struggle timeline so you know what I'm talking about, what I've been through exactly. Don't be shocked, but it's going to be very thorough <laughs> as you can see right now. Just pause the video if you want to read through it all. All my symptoms either showed up on a blood test or saliva test with clear markers. Nothing self-diagnosed. The problem <laughs> with self-diagnosed is that it's self-diagnosis. Uh, there's no proof that you had what you think you had. I also had to find that naturopaths are not replacement for medical tests. I'm vegan for six years in May. As you can tell, it's been a rough road for me because I made a whole lot of mistakes <laughs> without knowing. And I have to be kind to myself and forgive myself that I've made these mistakes and I think my story is for others to maybe um, get thriving on a plant-based diet sooner because I might not be the only one having these issues. And all those ex-vegan videos <laughs> are proof and evidence that it really might, I might really not be the only one. Despite aiming to do everything right, or maybe rather because of that, as you can see, the main health categories I struggled with were adrenal fatigue, hypothalamic hypothyroidism, hypothalamic amenorrhea, <laughs> leaky gut, digestion and immune issues and anorexia symptoms. Hypothalamic is all about, you know, the hormone system <laughs> um, being interrelated with each other. The symptoms of these issues are all very similar and often cause each other and go hand in hand with each other. All of them were due to a combo of one, chronic energy deficit, which is often present in vegans unnoticed, even though unwanted. It doesn't have to be a full-blown eating disorder. Um, it can be uh, very, very uh, subtle and very not visible from the outside and also not really perceivable from the inside to whole food and macro obsession and three glyphosate the most common toxic pesticide sprayed on the majority of non-organic food i always knew organic is important such a huge cause of gut and immune issues as it acts as an antibiotic and I wasn't aware of how harmful it is. It is crazy, but more on that later. All three might be thrown around a lot, but hear me out, they are mind blowing. If you're struggling, you definitely want to uh, stick around and watch all three videos in thorough. There might be aspects that will give you that uh-huh moment if anything in my timeline applies to you and you can relate and you struggle with this this video series might save your life and i'm not exaggerating i've recovered within one week and am symptom free for six months now all by eliminating these three causes that i've mentioned and that i'm going to go into very thoroughly i'm uh, doing a whole video on each one of them and I might do a video on Bonnie's and Tim's symptoms as I had most of them as well. So Bonnie Rebecca. I know how it is to be desperately desperate. I tried everything, all remedies in the alternative medicine world, wanting the vegan diet to work but being the only one having health issue after health issue in my own surrounding despite being on the perfect diet. I now understand my body and why all these diseases had to happen and why my body couldn't help but get these diseases. And I now know that my body was always doing the right thing. The body always does the right thing to keep you alive. If anything goes wrong in your body or gets sick, it is for a reason. From my personal experience, and I can only speak for myself, obviously. It's not the vegan diet that doesn't work. It's calorie restriction that doesn't work. It's anorexia that doesn't work. It's orthorexic approaches and perfectionist approaches to a vegan diet, 
like fear of gluten, oil, salt, fats, anti-nutrients, etc. And I've fell for all of these, okay? So I don't blame anyone, I don't judge anyone. I'm just saying, okay? So, and these are what doesn't work. It's not so much about carving up, it's about calorieing up in general. We fail to do this automatically when we tap into health issues because of our pain when eating. It happened to me big time. I didn't mean to undereat. I just wanted to heal and not be in pain. And when you're desperate, unfortunately, you begin to do crazy stuff, woo-woo stuff, <laughs> detox stuff that you never thought you would do and uh, develop food fears, mental issues, orthorexia, undereating big time, which results in a chronic energy deficit, even if not wanted. The vegan diet is not what's unbalanced. Calorie restriction, anorexic and orthorexic approaches, I speak from experience, I'm guilty myself, are what's unbalanced. It's also not only about eating more fats, 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 like, and I think fats are so, so important. I too am eating loads of fat now. Like I have been on the ultra low fat bandwagon for a long time and I'm not anymore, but there's more to the story. I think it's most of all about getting enough calories, not necessarily overemphasizing carbohydrates. I myself eat a ton of carbohydrates, but getting enough calories in general is much more important to a strong running immune system and digestive system and all systems really in your body. So invaders, pathogens and maintenance and anti-inflammatory works can be done continuously, non-stop. No extremism and I myself am a person who tends to extremes quite a lot. Extremes are easy, balance takes practice. No fasting, no juice diet, no 100% raw and no trying even, no mono meals, no 80-10-10, just a nice variety and balance of whole foods and fun foods. I'm going into these in my coming videos. I just wanted to, you know, kind of give a little glimpse and a little spoiler for those who are struggling as well and are utterly confused right now and questioning everything. I know how it is. I've been there. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I might have valuable experiences that can help someone to connect some dots. That it's maybe not the vegan diet in their case and not impossible to get healthy again as a vegan staying vegan. I'm just here to provide some missing puzzle pieces. Go back, rewind. Do you find yourself in my timeline? I really think I'm not the only one and I really want my story to be, um, to be a blessing for others to find maybe some solutions for their struggles. My own experiences make me assume that it's not the vegan diet itself, in my case, that caused me the problems, but rather a wrong way of going about the vegan diet, insufficient calorie intake, food fears and, um, you know, toxins like glyphosate, all unknowingly and unintended, not knowing that with all my well-meant obsessive and harmful efforts, what my systems were missing was so much more energy than I ever thought. So much less whole food obsession. Yeah, crazy. You live, you learn. It's always important to ask yourself and find out why you have the gut issues, the intolerances, the allergies and reactions in the first place. It always comes down to a weak immune system and or weak digestion process. Both of those are traceable to chronic energy deficits it equals nutrient deficiency automatically and or toxic damage by glyphosate. For example, I was diagnosed with several intolerances. One of them was soy. But I knew that I was not going to avoid that and all of them. 
I knew that to reverse my problems was that I eat much more. And I put it to the test. I reversed everything. I'm symptom free for half a year now. I think I'm repeating myself quite terribly. <laughs> and uh, wouldn't it be great if you could say the same in half a year? Now I'd be interested to hear what you personally are struggling with and what your thoughts and questions are. Just comment them down below and I'll see you next video. I'm trying to upload once a week. So I'll see you soon.